Navalny always knew his life was at risk. He'd already survived a poisoning, of course, but it was still shocking to get that news. What do you think of the reaction that we've seen already from the West, including from our own Prime Minister? I think the reaction is an important start. This is an absolutely colossal event. Um, it's a moment when world history is changing before our eyes. Um, for instance, if last year Putin had been overthrown by Prigozhin, it was very likely Navalny would have been released and um, he would have had a, a, a a clear path to political mm. power as someone who had, who had amassed a vast amount of moral authority, who had a, a vision of a post-Putin Russia. Um, and uh, now, um, without Navalny, um, the possibilities for a, a post-Putin Russia look much bleaker. How, how, how big a perceived threat was Navalny to Putin's regime, Putin's future as the leader of Russia, in your view? I think Navalny was an absolutely colossal threat. He was charismatic, he was popular, he had a record of organising very successful national protests. Um, no previous opponent of Putin had been so successful in appealing to Russians outside the at liberal centres of Moscow and St Petersburg. He was also really important because he understood the nature of the Putin regime um, as a kleptocracy. Mm. Um, other opposition leaders had spoken fine words about democracy and human rights. Navalny focused on Putin's corruption and for ordinary Russians, the awareness that they're living conditions were not great and Putin had a, um, a palace wor worthy of, of Louis XIV, um, that meant something. Yeah. I had the chance to meet and speak with Navalny in Russia in 2017 and it was at a, a secret meeting with his supporters. He, he always knew that the clock was ticking and there was someone else I met there that day as well, a uh, young politician or opposition leader called Ilya Yashin, mm -hmm. who is in jail right now too. So yeah. the point is that anyone who is threatening Putin in some way, that they are finding a way to jail them, which mm. does not bode well for any of those who want to stick their head above the parapet. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I, I, th I think this can work two ways. On the one hand, the fact that Putin has imprisoned these people amasses their moral authority. It shows that unlike the regime and its propagandists who um, are spectacularly corrupt, that these people have the courage of their convictions. Uh, the danger, however, is that um, Putin is killing people in prison. Mm. Um, I, yeah. yeah, please go on, yeah, Robert. Yeah, um, I, I think it's wonderful that you've mentioned Ilya Yashin because after Navalny today, he is um, the um, most charismatic and most effective opposition leader in prison. He's incredibly brave, he's incredibly articulate, um, he's very intelligent. A Russia um, led by people like Yashin would be a very different place, but he is now at great risk. Mm. And the more that the West mentions his name on a regular basis, the safer he becomes. And, and finally, what, what do you draw in the timing of Navalny's unfortunate death and the approach of the Russian elections? We, of course, use inverted commas with uh, ele any elections in Russia. Do, do you see mm. any correlation between those two events? Um, it's very hard to know. Um, certainly, Putin's own position um, is weaker as those um, elections become less credible because um, even the token liberal candidate who um, had criticised the war, Nadezhda, and mm. he's been excluded. So. Yeah. Um, it is possible there's a connection. Um, at, at this point, we simply don't know. Yeah.